Are you looking for a daily task tracker in Google Sheets? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create this exact template from scratch and all the formulas that you're going to need to automate it. Now, if you are short of time, I have made this template available for instant download. It will be available in the description down below. Let me now walk you through exactly how I've created this and how you can use it to track your tasks in Google Sheets. So the first thing that I'd recommend that you do is build out the daily task tracker itself. Now, what I've done ahead of time is I created this first and then I right clicked and I basically duplicated and I just changed each sheet name to the respective day of the week. That way, if you want to track on a daily basis, obviously this is a Monday through to Friday work pattern, you can do that. Otherwise, you could essentially just have this as the daily task tracker and you could just kind of update that every single day and then kind of work from a blank slate or even just save a new file. So this could be, as an example, this could be, um, it's the 17th today, so 17th of June. So you could do something like 1706 like that and then just create a new copy of the file file um, you could uh, where is it you could make a copy and then change it to the 18th the 6th etc etc and have loads of copies of it but this is the way I like to work so I like to create it for each day and then what we've essentially done let me just walk you through how this is built so these are all the columns that you need of course formatting font sizing all of that you need to choose that based on your needs preferences perhaps even organizations branding but the most important columns are the task name. Now choose something descriptive here to make it explanatory. What you could also do is have task name and keep it quite short. And then you could have something like uh, task description in here. Category. So this could be, it depends obviously what you're using your daily task tracker for. This could be um, something like this could be something like personal work. This could be something like if you're on a specific project communications, it could be marketing. You get the idea. Those categories are going to depend on exactly what you're using this daily task tracker for. Now, here's a little tip. What you could do is you can right click on here and you can click on drop down and I'll show you this functionality shortly. But that way, if you've got a, a subset of specific categories, you would just add them here. So as an example, Let's just do marketing, uh, finance, etc., and then just change that range to uh, from C2. And then you basically press done when you're finished. And then that way you've got these options. So again, that is going to be completely up to you and what you want in those categories. The other thing you could do here instead of categories project. So this could be something like uh, project A, project B, etc. But I'm going to remove all of that for now. Now, priority, oh, I did that by mistake. Press control Z or Z, and that will bring those back. I actually don't want, uh, no, I want to remove uh, C. Where are we? C, I want to remove that one. So for priority, what you essentially want is low, medium, and high. So all I did there, right click, I did the drop down, and what I did is just change the colors. So red obviously indicates high, yellow a medium, and low being a green. So obviously you'd mark that against each task. Status, I've set up not started, in progress, on hold, completed, Again, using the drop down functionality. Again, you might want some more. You want things like canceled tasks, as an example, you might want to add, add some more. Due date, obviously, is the date that that task is due. This is really important to make sure your task is actioned. One thing I recommend here is right click and you want to select, um, sorry, format, and you want to select number and just make sure you've got date selected. So it goes into the right format for dates and that's important uh, for something I'm gonna show you in a minute. Estimated time, so this could be something like 15 minutes, 30, etc. You could make it a little bit more explanatory uh, and you can do something like that in mins, something like that. Start time, so yeah, obviously depends how many tasks you have e each day, but you just literally put the time in there, it could be 9 a.m., 9.30, etc. End time, of course, just put that in as well. Actual time, so that just gives you a bit of an in insight into if your tasks are overrunning. You may or may not need that column. Now, completion is really interesting, So and progress, because they're linked, and I'll show you this in a second. Let me just leave that off. So what you essentially want to do here is just type in zero and just change that to percent. Now, you can change the decimal places, so if you don't want it to be 
uh, like that, you could just kind of um, decrease it in small places, I should say, and that will just make it kind of a singular value. And then let's just say 10, let's just say this task one, we're 25% complete. Look at the progress bar, which is really nice and visual. So here is the formula that enables us to have this. So what it's basically saying is look in K2 and basically based on this calculation, show where we're currently at on a scale. So I'll just, you can pause the video if you want to copy this particular formula. I will actually leave it in the description down below as well, but that's essentially how it works. So if this is 100%, obviously that bar will be full, 75, 50. It's really cool. It gives you a nice visual idea of where your progress is. Notes, just put anything in here, comments related to that task, you know, how it went, what you may need to do tomorrow, etc. And then recurring is a checkbox. So, you know, that task may happen again, as an example. And if it is, you may want to check that. So to set up checkboxes, you just select that column. And I believe I selected, where is it? Format, uh, da, da, da. insert, sorry, insert checkbox. And that would bring it in and then you select the range. So as I say, that's how you create the daily task tracker. And then all I did once that was done, right click, duplicate, and then obviously all of that formatting comes across and you'll see that you don't need to set it up each time. So there you go. There you've got a Monday through to Friday work pattern. The other thing I've done, and this is really interesting and useful, is I've created a summary tab. So the first here, this basically gives you an overview of Basically, it looks into every single sheet, and I'll show you the formulas in a second, and it just gives you a quick su summation of what's going on. So the total number of tasks on each day, so counter on Monday, counter Tuesday, counter Wednesday, etc. total is a sum. So it's just looking, you know, if I was to go in here and just put in task, then we should have, uh, if I go into the summary, we should have, uh, where are we? Do that on Tuesday, task name, task not put task two, then that should come through on the summary. So it's not for some reason. Uh, let me just check that one. So that should be A2. That's why that didn't work. So that reference was off there. So what I should have done is locked that reference. That's why it didn't come through. But nevertheless, now that's been corrected, you'll see it's bringing it through. So it gives you a quick overview. Completed is looking at, and the same things happened. What I should have done is locked that in. So lock that in like this. But what this is essentially doing is counting the number of completed tasks. So count if Tuesday essentially is looking for the word completed. So obviously you need to make sure that, that is an option in the status. So just make sure it's correct. So don't you don't want something like complete here and then in the summary have completed as an example. So that's correct. Obviously you just need to update the references. But if I quickly do that in real time, then you'll see the formulas Hopefully, you can always pause the video. Uh, again, I'll drop these in the description down below for you. Overdue, now this is basically looking to see, um, yeah, it's, it's doing a count if, so there's two arguments here. If the date is less than uh, today uh, or is equal to basically completed, then it will show. So basically, yeah, if it looks at the date and also the status. So it's really, really useful. Again, you might want to pause the video. I need to update these cell references. It should be kind of F2 the, the whole way down, E2, etc. Completion is doing analysis on, oh, I did that by mistake. This is looking at uh, this uh, cell here. It's looking at the total. It's also doing a little bit of maths, so D as well. So it's looking at the total and the completed uh, and running an analysis. And then recurring is just counting if that final column is checked. So that should, yeah, there you go. There we go. So that was one. If I remove that, then that will stop being counted. But you can look at the formulas. As I say, all formulas will be in the description down below and you can pick up this template. Now, this one is really interesting. This table here brings in all tasks that are due today. So in other words, let's just say we've got task one and that's due on today's day. It should pull through. I've gone ahead and fixed that formula. I'm now going to be showing you exactly what it looks like so that you can use it yourself. But basically, and I will leave this in the description down below as well, but basically what this is doing is it's looking in all of the tabs and basically bringing back any task that has a date of today. That's what this is essentially doing. So as I say, look in the description below if you want to pick up this formula or just get the template, download that template. Now, 
you'll see that if I go into Monday, I've created some example tasks. So task one, which has a due date of today. If I change that to a few days in the future, task one will drop off. But task two and three are coming from other uh, tabs. What might actually have been useful if I did this Wednesday task and you'll see it come through. So yeah, really useful to have on the summary. There you go. So now every task that's due today will show on this summary page. So that's how to create a daily task tracker in Google Sheets. I hope this video has been useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. As I say, if you wanna pick up this template, you can in the description down below, along with get all of the formulas used. With that said, over to you, best of luck, and I hope you have an excellent